Hello YouTube, this is Welsh Knife Nut doing a review of a German Army Knife. I'm going to get straight into your tools for you guys. Right, what you got here is like a combination tool. You got a screwdriver, cap lifter, can opener, and a wood saw. If I can pop the cover off. There you go, look, so you got an aggressive wood saw now. Uh, so when you cut with this, you do not get a clean cut. You get a bit of a jagged cut, but it does work very effectively. And it came with a uh, thin steel cover. So you just uh, you just pop like so. Don't know if it matters what side it goes on. I put it that way. And it has a nice bit of torque to it, so it can walk and walk and talk and talk pretty well. Got a thick. See if it show up or not when we end there. Don't want to show it, do we? Um, thick but battered main blade. I don't know if you can see all the scratches on here, but this thing's been used heavily. And this is not the uh, Victorinox German Army knife. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, my voice going funny there with uh, what's left of a bad chest, but never mind. But it says B&H Rost Free. And. It's not got the original tip, I've still got to work it over a bit more to get it on a better spear point than it right now has. So the moment the spear point on it is uh, sort of shit, is the best way of putting it. It doesn't work very effectively. And as you press in, like that, right down on it with the, a fair bit of force. But other than that, it's not very bad at all. It needs a bit of oil, I think, down there. Other than that, it's pretty smooth. Also talks the talk and walks the walk. Got a very large corkscrew, which is kind of hard to open. There's no play on the corkscrew. None of the tools have got any play on them, by the way, apart from the awl. And you also have a lovely little lanyard hold. Love it when they provide them. And you have a large, generously large awl. But as you've no doubt noticed, somebody has used it for, I don't know, poking holes in something that's hot and it's got uh, burned at the tip. I can see that, but it's been used for, um, I don't know, for punching holes in a can or something while it was hot. But whatever it was used for, it's been burned. But out of, on, out, <coughs> getting my words tangled, guys. Sorry about that. I'm trying to say my opinion on it and they get all confused. Sorry. But, uh,. I do recommend you buy one of these as a camp knife, um, but if you live in the UK, I wouldn't recommend EDCing it. Because if you look at this, the blade here is over 3 inches. Well, not the main blade, this one isn't, because it was broke, so that makes it under 3 inches. But the saw is a pretty large saw, I don't know if that's issues or not, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd be probably right in saying that the main blade was over three inches by a small amount. From the look of it in the wood saw, I would say it was about a quarter of an inch, maybe less, just a, just under a quarter of an inch, over three inches. So I wouldn't advise EDCing this, not unless you have one with a broken tip anyway, guys. But that's just my opinion on it. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.